conditioning, conformity, deprivation, aggression, eyewitnesses' memories. These are just some of the things psychologists have studied through laboratory experiments. And here, we'll look at the key things you need to revise for a really good exam answer on experiments. And the first one is knowledge. Sure, it's okay to give a definition, but a much better way of gaining and showing understanding is to break the experiment down into aim, method, and environment. So the aim of experiments is to go beyond description and test causality. The method is to manipulate something called an independent variable to see if it brings about change in something else called a dependent variable. For example, a common way of trying to isolate the independent variable is by randomly dividing participants into an experimental and a control group, and then only apply the independent variable to the experimental group. And the laboratory is a closed environment, where the influence of other variables can, as far as possible, be kept constant. So a laboratory experiment is a test of the effect of one variable on another under closed conditions. And you'll also need some application to show understanding. So make sure you have some good examples of psychological experiments to illustrate your explanation.